Bruce Lawn. What would be your number one advice for marriage? Hey, you know, the number one advice for marriage I would give is learn to just kick it and hang out together. Like, you can get a lot of feedback of like, yo, you got to sit and make eye contact and look at each other face to face and share your deepest, darkest secrets once a week. Like, there's people that do that, right? We know each other. We know our struggles. We know our secrets. We've done those exercises before. I actually got one of the way I proposed was doing one of those exercises. The, in my opinion, the best thing you could do is find ways to just kick it with your spouse the way you would kick it with a friend. Like, it, find a way to really enjoy each other's company. I'll give you an example. I've said this before, and some of you guys are like, eh, right? Uh, I love binge watching Netflix shows with my wife. With my wife. I don't mean watching 20 gajillion episodes. I mean, we'll watch two episodes, three at most a night. That's our thing. Lately, now I'm gonna think I'm real worldly now, so buckle up, okay? Lately, We've been playing Nintendo Switch together. We got my son a Nintendo Switch for his birthday, and we, uh, when the kids go to sleep, we bring it up and we 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 play Nintendo Switch together. We play like Mario Deluxe, right? So I would I would say find ways to just hang out, man. Like, can you and your wife just hang out? Can you and your wife go play basketball together? Can you and your wife just go play video games together? Can you guys, right? Like, can y'all kick it together? I I think that's huge, in my opinion. That might be not the spiritual answer you were looking for. Maybe you was looking for some, like, you got to get the oil out and consecrate your bedroom, right? Like, okay, respect to everybody on that. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Learn to just enjoy each other, communicate. You know, do all the basic things that, like, friends do. I think if you do that, you'll be substantially happier than not. If you have repented over and over, past sin and continual sin, believe in Christ, wisdom made you, why do I still sin? Uh, because sin is fun, is it not? Sin is perverting God's blessing. It's preventing God's, uh, it's perverting God's pleasure. So I think you need to get some better tactics and some better strategy and prayer and uh, holistically approach this area of your life. Maybe therapy, right? Um, I'm guessing, I'm Zach, just reading between the lines, I'm guessing you are talking about porn. That would be my guess, most people, or, or sleeping with your girlfriend. So I just did a whole video about that, how to stop being lukewarm, right? And I, just, I talk about this frequently, uh, very frequently. I have a whole playlist on this that if you go to Master My Habits, I'm putting together a whole course with my therapist on this exact issue. So I would recommend you go to mastermyhabits.com or hit the link in the description to get you to a playlist. Check that out. How do I avoid the romantic interest becomes an idol? It feels like my romantic interest is taking more of my attention, feelings, and thoughts. You got to keep the main thing, the main thing. Who is the main thing? What are your main priorities? Jesus. I think you, so, so like you avoid idolatry by keeping God the focus, right? Keeping your priorities the focus. There's some hard questions. How do I get over this? GF's past. I try loving her more and more, but jealous thoughts keep coming to my mind. I mean, the only thing I can think of is, is she saved? Is she born again? Uh, if she is, praise God. Uh, don't hold that against her if she's truly repentant and, she, and you guys are in a different space. People make mistakes. Would you want her to hold every past sin you've committed over your head? Uh, but I don't. I, outside of that, man, I, th I, I think the answer to that, and this is going to sound cheesy, but like, I think the answer to that is the gospel. Right? Like the answer to that is the gospel. Reimagine her through the lens of the gospel. Right? And if you can't, if you can't, then you, I don't know, you know? But that, that would be my advice. How can we help uh, better help your ministry? Thank you for asking. Best ways through Patreon um, and or, uh, yeah, really just Patreon, man. Subscribing, sharing the videos. Patreon is the most direct way. How to study the Bible course in the description of this video. Get more clarity, context, consistency, and ultimately application for life change. Hit the link in the description or go to mastermydevo.com. And we have our three-day challenge coming up for people who are looking to get into the YouTube space, entrepreneurs, pastors, creatives, thought leaders. Three-day challenge Live coaching by me in the description. King Stream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. We have a master YouTube live free three day challenge coming up to help empower creatives, pastors, thought leaders who want to jump into the YouTube space. So make sure you hit the link in the description. Sign up for that. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.